Hi guys and welcome to the webinar. We are live from our headquarters, which is located in sunny and always beautiful Cyprus. My name is Dennis. And uh, my name is Andre. And uh, together we will be presenting this uh, webinar on behalf of uh, Propellores, which as you already know is one of the leading advertising networks on the market as we provide over 800 million daily impressions to affiliates, media buying agencies, and direct advertisers. That's right. I've been in business for over seven years now, remaining the kings and queens of pop under traffic. Um, before we go into anything else, I just want to clarify that you guys can hear us well and that you can see me and Andre. Right. Just uh, let us know in chat. Uh, yeah, we are getting some comments about the quality of sound. Bad audio. Okay, we're fixing it right now. Right. You have another minute, please. That's okay, guys. We're fixing the audio now. Um, that's better. Okay, they say it's better. It's perfect. Yes, much better. Nice. Super. So we can continue um, with uh, with the topic of uh, this webinar. That's right. Let's let's move into the PowerPoint, so the guys can see the PowerPoint. Just a second, guys. Give us a couple of minutes to to fix those uh, tech issues, and uh, we're going to be moving forward to discussing the the topic of uh, today's webinar which is uh, how to convert pop under traffic like a pro. And uh, today's content is going to cover the essential information that you need to consider about when uh, launching your first pop under campaigns, especially with uh, propeller ads. That's right. Um, so this is the first webinar of a couple that we're going to be ho holding on uh, pop under traffic. This specific webinar will be about this general skeleton. We're going to cover very essential points. So before I go into anything else, I want to make sure that we have your eyes, your ears, and your full attention, because what we are going to be speaking about in this webinar and the ones that will follow can have a very significant impact on the results you're generating, which in return will have an impact on the revenue you generate as well. Even though the, the content of today's webinar might be a bit too basic for some of you, we, we still consider that uh, you need to pay enough attention for, for each step we are going to discuss today. And uh, if you guys have any suge suggestions on uh, further topics or if there's something you, you need to know, please, uh, please give us your questions and uh, we're going to cover them today or during the next webinars. That's right. Two very important points and then we're going to get going with the presentation. At the end of this webinar, we will be giving you guys a promotional code which you guys can use with your next deposit to boost up the capital of your, uh, well, your budget, which you can then use to significantly impact the visitors or the users you um, reach. And the second point is we run a Facebook campaign, right, yep. on generating the best possible questions. At the end of this webinar, we will let you guys know which uh, person is the winner. And I believe the, the prize is 100 bucks yeah, for the best right. question. That's right. So uh, let's move forward to the agenda of uh, today's webinar. And uh, in the beginning, we're going to discuss the most popular myths about pop under traffic. Then we will move forward to how to, about how to choose uh, the right bidding model and uh, about the importance of op optimizing your campaigns and setting up conversion tracking. Uh, and then we're going to talk about landing pages as well. That's right. Once we're done with all of this, we're going to be speaking about networking. Networking is an essential ingredient in any kind of business. By the means of networking, you acquire knowledge. And we're going to spend a little bit of time and uh, give you some hints and tips on how you guys can network online and in person. Um, Give me just a second. Can you guys fix the TV? It switched off. And uh, we're moving over to a quote right now. Great. Okay, so advertising is a contest, for, a contest for people's attention. That is no true, it can be truer than this, especially for pop under traffic. 
With pop under traffic, you guys don't get too many chances to make a first impression. In fact, you have about one tenth of a second to grab your user's attention, um, which will result, of course, in them either closing the tab or continuing forward. Um, so it's very, we're going to be speaking about this in point six of this webinar's agenda when we speak about landing pages. Let's continue. Yes. Let's uh, discuss the myths that exist, unfortunately, about pop under traffic. And uh, the first one is about uh, low quality. The second one is, uh, is more about the concern uh, of a lack of targeting options. And uh, the third one uh, is uh, about the fact that pop under might only work for big marketing budgets. That's right. So what we're going to do is we're going to cover all three of these uh, points. We will then break them. And then we're going to go through the process of how to start and run a successful pop under campaign. Right, now let's discuss the first thing. Imagine a general user experience in the internet. Uh, often a uh, user goes to Google, uh, searching, searching for something, let's say, entertainment related. That's right. Eventually, they get to one of our publishers' websites as uh, they are highly ranked there. And uh, while enjoying the content of this website, they get a notification from Facebook, let's say. Like a message from a friend. Yeah, for example. This illustrates how the audiences of these free traffic sources are overlapping. And uh, basically, the, the audience of the web is more or less the same within all traffic sources, especially big ones like Google, Facebook, and Propellerites, which provide 800 million impressions daily. And uh, yeah, this uh, leads to a conclusion that the audience is the same, but the ad formats are different. And Very different. And uh, within this webinar, we are going to discuss how you need to adjust your ads to pop under ad format. That's right. The most important thing that we need to cover in this myth is that you are actually targeting real people. We as a company spend a lot of money and a lot of time to, first of all, we spend money to Im improve our traffic sources, um, help our publishers become better, and that results in them bringing us better traffic. We do overlap with, with the example that Andrew just gave, with Facebook and Google. So you're basically targeting the same audience, but what Andre just said, you're targeting them with a different format. So if you are working with Facebook and Google, and then you try and work with pop unders, you can't take the same mentality and target the same, this, these free sources. You have to approach it in a different way. Uh, just to answer the questions, we're getting a lot of questions about recording. Yes, the webinar will be recorded, and uh, yeah. we will be answering all other questions as when we come to the Q&A section. The questions that we don't answer will be answered directly via email. I will repeat this later on again. Yeah, and there's quite a few questions about promo codes. We're gonna share it in the end of this webinar, so stay tuned. Yeah, relax. Hold your horses and you know, you're, you're gonna get your promo code. Right. So, next point. Um, it's still, we're still on myth number one, that pop under traffic quality is very low. Um, now, it's very important to understand that you need to choose the right offer vertical and understand the vertical you're working inside. There are verticals that generate very fast results. They range from sweepstakes to software, browser extensions, finance, gambling, and so forth. And then there are the other ones that need a bit more testing. And by testing, we, need, we mean optimizing and, and analyzing properly. Um, they are e-commerce, nutrition, dating. But you guys need to understand that we have guys who are working with dating offers, nutrition offers, and even e-commerce, and they start seeing results in some cases from the week one. So it's all about your knowledge, the way you advertise, the way you approach things, but we'll do our best to help you with everything. Great. Uh, now we're still discussing the, the product. Yes, so um, product matters. It's as clear as, as, uh, as daylight. It can happen that two similar offers, or pretty much identical offers, show very different performances. So as you see here, two apples, one's bad, one's good, but there's still two apples. Uh, this is because the product itself matters. You guys need to estimate how attractive a product is by, uh, by going through a basic user experience. So if I was in your shoes, what I would do is, if I find the product I wanna promote, for example, uh, a crypto product, I would go to the actual conversion process myself to understand one, how long it is, to how good the quality of the service is, what kind of email follow-up I get, 
Just general basic questions. How so good user is user friendly? Is the, is the exactly. Interface? Exactly. You need to spend time. It, there is no get rich quick thing in any business, whether that's forex trading, online advertising, horse betting, or boxing. Nothing happens like this. Everything takes time, and the more uh, time you invest into things, uh, quality time you invest, the better results you will get. So you need to estimate the attractiveness of the product by yourself. Do your own research and test different options to figure out what's the, the best thing to, to be promoted. That's right. Get your hands dirty. You need to get your hands dirty, sweat a little bit. Uh, you need to invest time into things. The more time you invest, the more quality time you invest in things, the more chances you have of things working out. Of course, this doesn't mean that everything you invest time in will work out, but the, the more time you invest, the more time you fail, the more problems you face, the smarter, the better, the more knowledge you build. So you basically increase your chances to, to succeed by, by doing more research. Absolutely true. Okay, here's myth number two. Myth number two is that pop under traffic has very few targeting options. Right, and uh, that's a perception that we get a lot from those marketers who are more experienced with, uh, once again, such traffic sources as Facebook and Google. But um, you need to understand that traffic specifics of pop under are slightly different. First of all, you do have enough uh, targeting options and uh, you can see them, uh, some of them are listed on that slide. But uh, besides that, uh, once again, the specific is different. So you start with a wider range of audience for cheaper price, and then you narrow your targeting down as you start getting the, the performing sources, countries, etc. And uh, yeah, that's ba basically how you reach the optimal results. It's true. So the, the, the clear fact is this. You have a wide variety of targeting options to use, and they're just enough to become successful with promoting with pop this. It's as simple as that. Otherwise, we wouldn't have hundreds and thousands of people making money on a daily, weekly, and monthly basis with pop under traffic. You guys can target in many different ways. There are articles listed even in the chat right now on how you can do this, and you can also find them in our blog uh, on propellerads.com. Right. By the way, pay, to, pay attention to the articles that Kira is sending to the chat as uh, they will be really helpful to you as well. And now we're moving forward to the third myth uh, uh, about the fact that uh, pop under traffic works only for big marketing budgets. And uh, here you can see a visual representation of the CPV that you can get in propeller ads. And uh, when me and Dennis were creating the, the content for this webinar, we didn't even know how to pronounce this number. <laughs> we still don't. Yeah. So uh, the, the traffic uh, that, you, that you can get in PropellerX is much, much cheaper than, for example, in Facebook or Google. And uh, from our experience, we've been working with different advertising budgets, hundreds to a few hundred thousands. And uh, in the end, it's not about the amount of money you invest, it's about your investment. Okay, our body is breaking up again. All right. Can you guys hear us now? Okay, so work, work better. Good, better. We get some positive feedbacks. On... Better. Okay, okay so, we'll be so good so to go. Continue. Thanks, guys. So yeah, that was the third myth. And uh, as I said, we worked with uh, different advertising budgets, uh, which ranged from a few hundreds to a few hundred thousands. And uh, it's not about the amount of the investment that you are making. It's about how smart you are treating your investment. Now, while we're on this point of being smart, um, here's the real percep perception of everything. The smaller the budget you work with, the harder it is to achieve an ROI. It doesn't mean that it's impossible. It is possible and it happens pretty much on a daily basis for different people, but it, the whole point is it's harder. You need to work smarter, you need to spend more time in planning and preparing, and you need to find zone IDs to, to optimize much, 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 much quicker. Um, the whole point is this. For the same money you spend on Facebook and Google, you can reach a much bigger audience using pop up now remember what we said in the beginning. It's a different ad format. You need to approach it with a different mindset. Simple as that. Right. Uh, so. so the three myths are now busted and let's continue with the presentation. So 
the first choice that you are facing when uh, creating your campaign with the propeller ads is uh, choosing the right business strategy. And uh, my personally, my favorite one is the Smart CPM. It's a tool, it's a very great tool for testing uh, big volumes of traffic for a very reasonable price. And uh, the only thing you need to take care about regarding your bidding strategy here is uh, your top bid. So if you select the top bid for at the, at, uh, at the level of $1, let's say, and there will be a placement worth of 50 cents, you won't be paying $1 for a 50 cent zone. You're gonna pay 50, song, uh, 50 cents for that. And uh, that's basically what gives you a possibility not to overspend uh, when testing your first campaigns with uh, propeller ads. Once you're done with Smart CPM, where you will logically, what you draw logically you will use to build whitelists, you can then move to the most uh, traditional and historically longest format, which is CPM, which is cost per mile or cost per thousand impressions. This format is best used when you have whitelisted zones that you can use to target. So basically upscale your campaigns. A smart advertiser would start on smart CPM. He would test various zones and various geos. He would build up a whitelist and then move to CPM where he would target only whitelisted zones, kill out his competition by targeting, by using a higher CPM rate, and therefore get first impressions. That's right. And the uh, last but not least model available is uh, the, the smart CPL, the CPA. It's, uh, it's a pricing model that is more advanced and uh, it helps advertisers to avoid long lasting optimization of processes. However, it's important to mention that it was built to fill, fulfill the needs of very specific offer verticals, which we are going to share after this uh, webinar. Yeah. Uh, so these verticals, uh, they imply short and easy conversion flow as a number of set. And uh, also there is a number of settings that uh, you need to consider when yep. not launching this uh, pricing model. Uh, one of them is a, is a test budget and uh, something that we generally recommend is anything around 50 to $150. And uh, what you need to understand about testing budget is that uh, it would be deducted from your account if your campaign goes through the testing period with eCPM lower than average within the network for the same traffic. And if eCPM is higher than average, then your test budget is gonna stay with you. That's right. So Smart CPA uh, works very well for selected verticals, especially if the conversion is short. Okay, we have many successful advertisers using Smart CPA on pop unders very successfully, but then we have a lot of people who are very lazy and don't wanna, don't wanna shorter than conversion flow, they don't wanna invest enough time, and uh, well, they fail very quickly with Smart CPA. Um, so Smart CPA is a harder model to use, right? Yeah. Uh, but you can make it easy by simply investing a bit of more time into it. Now, choosing the pricing model depends on four factors. The first one is the vertical you're running in, the second one is the available budget you have. The third one is your campaign goals. And finally, your skills, your skill levels, the skill sets you currently have. Should we move over to the next slide? That's right. When uh, you are done choosing the, the bidding strategy, another important factor that you need to consider about is, uh, is choosing, uh, sorry, is, uh, is the way you're gonna optimize your campaigns okay. and uh, yeah. Here we're going to discuss the importance of uh, conversion tracking. Now, one wise man said, half the money I spend on advertising is wasted. And uh, the trouble is uh, that I don't know which half. Now, Dennis, can you elaborate on, the, on uh, what is conversion tracking? Okay, so conversion tracking is a way to measure the performance of your campaigns. It's pretty simple. It's you guys getting the essential information you need on the traffic sources that are bringing you the best type of quality, leads. Uh, clicks, conversions, and so forth. So without conversion tracking, everything else is pretty useless. That's right. So let's move over to the next slide. In simple words, um, with the uh, conversion tracking implemented, you would have a transparency 
And uh, by transparency, we mean that uh, you would be able to see what sources, what countries, what uh, uh, geos, geos, the, yeah, platforms uh, delivered the best results to you. And uh, by the means of acquiring that knowledge, you would be able to optimize your campaigns. You would be able to keep relevant traffic, exclude irrelevant, and uh, all of these combined lead to the possibility of ROI control. So in short, what you're saying is transparency plus optimization equals cha-ching money. Yeah, the revenue. That's right. So as you guys can see on your screen right now, conversion tracking is a must. And must is in yellow and in capital letters for a good reason. Because without it, without conversion tracking, your campaigns are worthless. You won't know how to optimize. You won't know where you're going. And you'll just be burning your budgets. If you use conversion tracking correctly, what you're going to be able to do is exclude bad zones and focus the same budget without scaling higher on the good zones, which will result in you performing better and making more money. Now, conversion tracking can be done with professional tools such as Volume, Funnel Flux, AdsBridge, and so forth. At the end of this webinar, we're going to be sharing with you guys a PowerPoint. In this PowerPoint, you will be able to find um, promo codes that you can use to use these specific professional tools um, to track your performances. Yeah, right. And uh, you can also find some promo codes within the self-service platform. I think there's a couple of them provided for Volume and uh, Edgebridge. So yeah, you can check, uh, check it out there as well. And then uh, uh, besides the third party solutions, the, the pro tools, you can also uh, pick uh, our solution, uh, which is uh, which has been de developed by Propeller Ads, and uh, I would like to, to go through the advantages of, of both options. Now, with uh, Propeller Ads own tracking solution, well, the main benefits obviously is that it's free, right? It's easy to set up. It would have one interface to track and optimize, and uh, you can pick uh, between server to server integration or image pixel tracking. So for propeller ads, we have four uh, pros, one con. Yeah, that's right. But it has a bit less features compared to the Pro Tools. Now that the, is the only con, right? Yeah, that's right. Now the Pro Tools, they provide more detailed statistics by devices, IPs. You have an option to analyze multiple traffic sources uh, in one interface. You have an opportunity to manage traffic flows in a more flexible way make any tests and uh, you have multiple other options to, to, to use these tracking solutions. Now the disadvantages here is that uh, first of all it's paid for, it's uh, pretty difficult to configure especially if you have no experience with that and uh, besides that it creates additional redirect that might have an impact on the discrepancy. So let me ask you a question. If you were an advertiser who has 800 bucks to uh, test the campaign, which tracker would you use? Well, in that case, I would definitely stick with the propeller ad solution as uh, 800 sounds like a very limited advertising budget. Right. I wouldn't want to increase my ad costs. And uh, besides that, propeller ads offers just enough, uh, you know, features to, to optimize and track the performance of your campaigns. Right. And at the end of the day, that's the most important thing. Yeah. for you to optimize. That's the whole process. That's the whole idea with tracking. So you can optimize your campaigns and help. If you can save a hundred bucks with 800, I mean, I'd rather invest that extra hundred bucks into gathering more traffic. That's right. So um, let's move over to landing pages. Yeah. Okay. So in the beginning of this presentation, there was a quote and that quote read, uh, advertising is a competition for users attention. Now, what I see many times with my clients is that they start running ads, they start spending money, and they come back in a week and they say, wow, um, zero conversions, which only results in them seeing a zero balance in their accounts too. The question that comes very quickly to their mind and my mind from personal experience is, why isn't anyone buying? Why isn't anyone converting? The simple answer to this is that your landing page is not convincing enough. Well, it's either not convincing enough or not convincing the right way. That's right. I'm pretty sure that, uh, like many of you have uh, have been advertising advertising in uh, Facebook or Google, 
using texts or banners which were leading to your landing page. Now, Dennis, what do you think? Uh, how, what is the role of these texts and banners within this scheme? The simple answer, I believe, is uh, to grab users' attention and warm them up. Yeah. It warms them up to bring them to, to, to a landing page, well, warmed up and ready to take action. Yeah. Generates interest. Yes. So with four banners, you, you don't have an option to use banners or text before the landing page. So the, the solution here is to do the pre-lander, which will trigger the Audio, stop. <laughs> Sorry. We're not audio, so. Okay, you guys are super helpful. You guys are really a really good crowd. You're helping us a lot. Thanks for being so active with uh, your feedback in the chat. Yes. Yeah, Navid, I like that too. Everybody goes audio, 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 and we can fix it. Still breaking. Audio is okay, Sergey says. Yeah, we're back. Super. Right, so where we stopped? We stopped on the importance of uh, using a pre-lander with uh, your co-founder campaign as uh, it triggers the initial interest of a user. And uh, by the means of pre-lander, you would bring only relevant audience to your landing page where you, could, you would be able to, to describe your product in a more precise way. Now, if you don't use a pre-lander, you need to reconsider the role of your landing page as it shouldn't be, you know, if, uh, if a user is not ready to your ad and you make him ju uh, jump into your, the ad content straight away, it might be a bit weird. You need a killer landing page to grab, to increase the effectiveness of it without a pre-lander. Right. And uh, here we have some examples of, uh, of landing, of pre-landers. With uh, this first one, you can uh, see that uh, it's a sort of a Facebook-style uh, gambling uh, spin contest. And uh, this kind of pre-lander would make your target audience more gambling-oriented. So that can be used for casino offers, for betting offers, for, for something like that. Here's another one. You, you tick the boxes uh, and uh, eventually you sort of win something. Once again, uh, it uh, triggers the interest and uh, heats up the audience. And the final and third one here is uh, about call to actions. Right. So, guys, before before we move into anything now, pre-landers, we only have we don't have too much time with this webinar to show you all of them, but we have a whole inventory of uh, many, many, many different ones which look much different than the ones we've shown, uh, and we're very happy to share them. With the best way for you to get this kind of information or see the pre-landers is one, speak to your account manager. Two, log into your platform and head to the chat and the chat guys will be more than happy to help you. Um, and yeah, that's, that's it, two options. Um, so pre-landers, like Andre said, are a great way of warming up traffic. They are the pop-unders banners, the Facebook banners and Google banners. Um, that's what they are for pop-under traffic. They are a way to narrow in the target audience. So now we are on point 19, and that's how to create a landing page for pop under traffic. Before we do that, let's talk about uh, the quote that you guys see. Advertising without optimization is like driving with your eyes closed. It's a pretty stupid thing to do, yet advertisers do the exact same thing with their optimization every single day. They either run with bad and outdated landing pages, untested landing pages that they believe themselves that are great without running them by other advertisers, their account managers, or friends in general. That's one way to understand if a landing page is good. Uh, two, without optimization, you're doomed to fail. The only, the most important thing that you guys need in a landing page is good call, call to actions, a clean, beautiful, and effective landing page. We can describe it on an example of a landing page that we used to, for this webinar. Right? That's right. That's, yes, Andrew is absolutely right. The, web, the landing page that you guys came to, uh, that you registered for this webinar on, uh, had lots of call to actions. First of all, it was clean and beautiful. The call to action was powerful. How to convert pop under traffic like a pro, clearly targeting interested people. The time constraint there as well, the clicking clock, that makes people take action. We had a lot of registrations here, and this webinar already has 235, 34 uh, 
35 again, um, <laughs> users, and we had how many registrations? 800 and something. Yeah. But that means we built up our email list. So this, these 800 people can be targeted by emails, right? Yeah, that's right. So yeah, on this slide, you guys can see some uh, good call to action uh, examples. And once again, uh, think about the powerful creatives. Do testing, ask your colleagues, ask your friends what looks better. And uh, yeah, that's uh, generally a secret to, to creating a landing page. But you can also go a different way with uh, your landing pages. You can, um, you can use spy tools. And uh, these tools would, be, uh, would give you a possibility to, to figure out what's hot on the market right now what's uh, being used by most of the marketers. And uh, to be more specific, we can give an example. Uh, within the crypto type of offers, there is a landing page that is called uh, Bitcoin Code. That's right. Uh, and uh, it has been copied hundreds, if not thousands of times. And uh, the reason for that is simple. It's, uh, it's just because it performs. It converts and it yeah. converts like crazy. Uh, what, in the last week, we've had over six different advertisers promoting this specific landing page well successfully and the way they find it is through spy tools they simply take a landing page and they copy it and like andre said it's been copied hundreds if not thousands of times already it will eventually die out and burn because it just everyone in the world will see it um, so something new will come up and the way for you to to find out what's hot in the market is one spy tools and two good old networking yeah, and obviously, in order to reach extraordinary results, you need to create something specific, something that doesn't exist on, on the market right now. But uh, yeah, as we said, uh, there is another option, checking what other advertisers are doing and uh, just copying them. That's right. Let's move over to the next slide. We're going to be speaking, we're still speaking about landing pages. Um, so it's about building a landing page. The key ingredient to a landing page I know I'm going to have to go extremely elementary on you here, and you guys know this, but it's worth remembering. Hosting. Without having a good hosting service, your landing page, well, first of all, might crash when you start bringing heavy traffic to your website. Two, it might become slow. And if you guys remember, I told you in the beginning with pop under traffic, you have one tenth of a second to grab someone's attention. If your landing page is not loading or your website is not loading, the user is simply going to click the big ass red X and it's going to be gone. That's right. So it's the last thing you want to, to happen. After all the effort you, you put in, after all the researches that, you, that you've done about the landing pages that you're going to launch, about the product and so on, the last thing you want to happen is a, a slowly loading landing page in front of the user that you were trying to reach. You have plenty of examples on the, on the landing page here that you can use from lead pages to Insta page, uh, all the way to HubSpot. Um, but I'm pretty sure that you all are pretty smart individuals and you're already doing this. So let's continue to the next slide. We're finally here. Um, why bother with networking? Right? That's where we are. So I'll give you three excellent pieces of information. The first one is gathering intelligence. Networking, what you guys are doing now in the chat, helps you gather intelligence. By gathering intelligence, you shorten the learning curve. In this business, you'll never stop learning. And that's the true key to success in online advertising, is that you constantly need to improve your knowledge. The best way to do this is one, read books. Two, go to affiliate conventions or uh, online communities. Create groups of people. I'm a firm believer that uh, you are an average of the five or four people you surround yourself with. So if you surround yourself with five, five successful advertisers, you're bound to be the sixth. That's right. And uh, Propeller Ads is a type of company that invests its time and uh, funds into building relationships, uh, gathering and sharing intelligence with our partners. We are attending uh, the most of, uh, of the key affiliate marketing events all over the world. And uh, I do believe that uh, that's one of the factors which makes us as big and as successful as we are. That's right. So uh, networking, like I said, is an essential part of growing knowledge. It's the quickest way 
to share experience or even steal expertise of other people by asking quality questions. Here's what I do. When I go to a convention or a general meeting or anywhere else that I can find people who are smarter or who are doing things that I want to do or living the life that I want to live, I use, I use those moments to motivate myself and, uh, well, build enough motivation to, um, to get the drive that I need to get up in the morning, clap my hands, and, you know, give it everything I got every day. Um, the second thing is, the second thing that I do is simply take a pen and paper and write down questions. Once I have quality questions, I understand how I can gather quality information. Right. By asking quality questions from, for example, people who already do pop under advertising or some, something else that you want to learn, you will shorten the period of time of your learning. So that's right. be active with networking. And on this slide, you can see the, the list of biggest events and biggest online communities. And we do recommend to, to visit them and uh, to, to benefit. Yes, and at the end of the webinar, you remember that PDF we said you'll receive? In that PDF, you will get the list of communities as well. Right. So now we are moving forward to... The key points to success. Right. So let's do a checkpoint list of uh, what we've discussed today. And uh, the, the first thing was uh, finding the, the right bidding strategy. That's right. You need to choose between uh, Smart CPM, CPM and CPA. And uh, later, after this webinar, uh, we're going to send uh, the offers that are best suitable for each of them. And besides that, we're also going to send some offers with countries and rates that are more than welcome within our network, as it's going to create additional revenue for both of us. That's right. So what Andre said here about the, the creating additional revenue for both of us, uh, the simple logic we use is that for us to achieve success, we need to have profitable advertisers. That's why we're a firm that constantly invests in constant and never-ending improvement, uh, meaning we want our clients to be successful. So finding the right strategy is simple. It's whether you're going to run on smart CPM, CPM, or smart CPA. Once you do that, you move to having the right offer, meaning the vertical or the offer you will be promoting or the CPA network you will be running with. Once you're done with that, you move to the next point. Yeah, you, you need to choose the landing page. You need to to understand the idea that you are going to sell to your target audience. And uh, for making a landing page work well, you need to use pro tools. But besides that, you, you also need to be a professional when setting up a tracking conversion. The topic of this webinar is how to convert, right? That's right. And in order to convert, you need to have a conversion tracking ready. So the, that's the four points. Uh, the bonus one is about networking. You need to network with your account manager, be active in forums, and try to go to as many events as possible. Small, big, mediocre, it doesn't matter. You never know where the diamonds are hiding. The general process to success with pop under traffic is having the right strategy, and by strategy we mean the path you're going. The second thing is how to work in the right vertical or your that's okay. Okay, relax. <laughs> it's better now. So, um, I'm going to go over that again. First is the strategy. Whether you're running with Smart CPA, CPM, or Smart CPM, the second is having the right vertical you're, that you're going to be promoting or the offer. Of course, having a landing page and good hosting, good ideas, testing different things. And without conversion tracking, always remember this, without tracking your conversion, conversion, no matter how small your test may be, everything else is reckless. Right. And uh, now we are moving forward to conclusions of this webinar. Okay. Now, besides the importance of networking, you guys always need to do your own research and understand what your competitors are doing. Remember, you guys need to sweat a little bit. You need to work a little extra, a little harder study a little bit more. Um, it, I, I look at success this way. If it was meant to be, it's up to me. Nobody else in this world is going to come and give me free money or free conversions or give me free knowledge. That stuff doesn't exist. You guys are investing time into this webinar. I understand that we're not giving extremely crazy information. We're reminding you of crucial information. But like I told you in the beginning of the webinar, we're building a skeleton and building a the foundation 
of running successful pop under campaigns. Right. The, the next bullet point, uh, I believe it's related to the myths that we discussed in the beginning that uh, pop under has poor quality and this and that. But uh, in fact, uh, if you consider that uh, we are on the market of pop unders for over six years and the demand and supply, it only keeps growing. This clearly means that uh, people are making money with us. And uh, yeah, this is uh, the best way uh, to, to illustrate uh, that uh, the mix were busted, let's say. No, absolutely. Look, if for the last six years we are growing like this in everything, in employees, in, in, in offices, in revenues, that means people are making money with us. Otherwise, I mean, why would they be spending so much money on pop under traffic? So the next point is about having the mindset. Mindset is what separates successful people and campaigns from unsuccessful. It's pretty simple. Winners wake up in the morning and they know what they're going to do. Losers, well, they complain and they have excuses for every single solution. And finally, the last point is making your hobby the main source of income. I've done that successfully for a number of years. Um, and I got to tell you guys, it's the, best, uh, it's the best thing that I've ever done in my life. The reason is simple. Well, the way I did it is, is simple, but complicated to some people. I worked my ass off for two years, and then for the another three years, I just reaped the benefits. It's about investing time into everything else. All right, so. So you guys now have a choice. You can either continue to do what you've done and hope that you'll succeed some way, or you can begin using the basic information we presented in this webinar and gain an edge in the markets. The choice is all yours. And uh, once again, uh, guys, uh, we wanted to point out that uh, this is our first webinar and uh, we've tried to cover the very essential steps that you need to take care of when you launch your first campaigns. Now, if you have comments on the, on the more specific information that you would like to get, please let us know about that. And we're going to dedicate another event uh, specifically for that information. Of course. So pay attention to what I'm about to say, because I'm reading your comments. This is a process. It's, we cannot give you crazy information in 45 minutes. Also, you might be much more advanced than the other 200 and something people that are watching this webinar and the thousands who will watch the recording. So we have to start from square one and build the block slowly. So this first webinar is the first webinar of a few that are gonna slowly take you through the process and build a whole body of how to convert pop under traffic. We gave you the basics now, and we will be giving you much more essential information on how you guys can do this. Right. But as Andre said, it would be very beneficial that if you guys have things you wanna learn, Put it in the comment box or in the chat and say, hey guys, can you teach me this because I don't know how to do this. And we will, if we have enough people uh, talking about it, we'll surely create a webinar because your success results directly towards our success. I need to make that clear. Right, so it's, it's all about the same phrase as on, on the slide. Uh, the choice is all yours about the topics we're gonna cover later. That's right, let's move to the next slide so these guys can get their promo code because I see that they're quite eager in uh, depositing. <laughs> right. But let's start with the uh, Q&A first. Uh, let's go through that briefly. Uh, okay. Here are some questions that we got from social media channels. <clears throat> Sorry. And the first one is, uh, is pop under traffic suitable for every kind of offer? Um, so that's a good question. Uh, firstly, B2B offers generally are, are something that I would not personally promote. Even though we've had success cases they are not in the hundreds and in the thousands. They are few and they're limited. Otherwise, on B2C, you can target a lot of things. Now, the next question that we have is what type of offer do you recommend promoting with pop under traffic? Yeah, as we said today, we, we are not going to list uh, like all of them. Uh, we, we gave some examples regarding the verticals. After this webinar, we're going to share some more specific information on the type of offers that uh, we are uh, let's say, looking for or that are welcome within the network as uh, they are performing well. So you're going to receive this information later in the PDF. Okay, uh, I'm going to remind you guys what I told you at the beginning of the webinar. I see you guys got a lot of questions. We can't answer all of them, but here's a promise. We will answer all of them via email, so you will receive a 
a reply to all logical questions. So if it's something silly and it just doesn't make sense, um, or it's not related to this business, then you probably won't get an answer. Otherwise, if your questions are relevant and related to pop under traffic and propeller ads and general online advertising, you will definitely get an answer. Uh, let's go to the next question. Yeah, the next question is, uh, what advice would you give to, for someone who is new to pop under traffic? Um, well, it's simple. Attend webinars, uh, watch YouTube videos, uh, read PDFs, uh, practice a lot. Uh, don't rush and don't expect to generate extreme or crazy results or in fact any kind of results in the beginning. So be smart with your budget. Let's go with some of the questions that the guys are asking and then we'll move to the, to the last two here or the last one. Okay, so uh, here's a good question. Would you also recommend running offers directly or always through a landing page? Well, I would recommend uh, running A-B testing. Yes, run directly to our landing page and run with freelancers. Yeah, yeah. Well, it all depends on the offer. Some offers convert uh, without landing page. Uh, specifically, it relates to, to CPI offers and uh, in some cases, uh, if you direct the user straight to Google Play Store or App Store, it might convert better without the landing page. But it all depends on the on the offers. Andre has a really good question. Did you guys notice any actual lower volume? Your pop traffic. Yeah, way? because of the Google new rules. <laughs> Absolutely not. We've been preparing for this months in advance. Um, Actually, in the last month, we've grown by at least uh, ten percent with the volumes of traffic. Google does this every year. Every year they say. We're going to do this and they try and do it, but they just can't. Maybe we're just more technologically advanced than them. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Obviously. Any, any other questions? Anything else? Yeah, let's go through the, through the list. Yeah. Guys, the list we didn't make up. This list was generated um, when we run the Facebook promotion. People who, who actually put these questions, one of these guys will get a hundred bucks in their account to run some tests. Um, so the next question is what? Do pop-unders work better than pop-ups? Right. Well, I think that uh, pop-ups are much less user-friendly than uh, pop-unders. I agree. They're more abusive, more aggressive in a way, and uh, that's why they deliver better performance than pop-unders. But at the same time, there's a high chance of lo losing uh, loyalty of the uh, of the visitors of, uh, it's, of the it's it's annoying and uh, it can damage brand brand um, brand awareness brand image yeah and uh, brand image. that's basically the reason why propeller sticks uh, to the decision which is in the middle between pop-ups pop -up, pop and pop-unders and uh, the decision is uh, new tab ads that's uh, how most of our traffic is represented uh yes uh, andre do you have a fresh promo code yes we do and it's coming pretty soon I know you're very eager to deposit, but just give us a couple of minutes and you'll get the promo code and you'll put your money and get some traffic. Uh, let's go with the last question and then let's decide who wins. Right. Uh, the last question is uh, which strategies would be best suited for new sites and how can these campaigns stimulate organic traffic? Okay. It's a really good question uh, from Fabio, Fabinho. Uh, Fabinho, <laughs> the basic strategy here is starting on smart CPM. Starting on Smart CPM will allow you to, well, basically test multiple zones and multiple geos if your news site is, um, is not only local, locally, um, well, for the local market. If it's allowed for international or multiple geos, then it's a great way to run on Smart CPM, uh, add the geos in, add the, the highest bid, this way you will not burn through your budget, you'll be able to uh, find the necessary intelligence to optimize correctly and then move to CPM with higher rates, outbid the traffic, get the first impressions, and obviously start building an audience. That's right. We got another good question uh, about smart CPA campaigns. How often should I recreate, duplicate my smart CPA campaign in order to get nice volume all the time? Well, uh, first of all, um, recreation and duplication of your campaigns doesn't affect uh, the stability of the volumes that you are getting. Uh, what makes an impact is uh, the ECPM, basically, and uh, you need to, to take care of uh, your landing page effectiveness and uh, you need to also think about uh, how good is your product, how attractive your product really is. 
and uh, test different uh, options for landing pages, for products, and, and so on. That's, that's right. That's the only way to, to keep uh, your volumes stable. Okay, so let's just go over a very quick summary so everybody understands what we went over. We did go over the conclusion and the summary. I just want to make sure that everyone understands that first, you need to understand the vertical you're promoting. That's key. Once you understand the vertical, you'll be able to understand which strategy or path to take, right? Once you do that, you'll be able to optimize your landing pages and do the necessary technical stuff such as the tracking or retargeting pixel. For example, Fabinho's question, which strategies would best be suited for news websites? I've even put retargeting there, right? Right. Especially for news. In order to, let's get back to this question once again to cover, cover yeah. this topic. Um, in order to stay organic track of this, you need to, to make uh, your audience loyal to, to the content that you are offering. And uh, in order to do that, sorry. Sound. Any better? Uh, um, it's still bad? Good, not good. good. It's back. It's yeah. good. Good. Man, you guys are a super audience. I've never done a webinar with such a good audience. No joke, really. Right. <laughs> Usually people don't so speak I, at all. That's really cool. So yeah, we've been uh, discussing uh, uh, Fabinho's question once again about the ways to stimulate organic traffic. And the key thing here is to build audience loyalty. And right. In order to do that, obviously, you need to run prospecting campaigns. But then in order to get your audience uh, get used to the content you're promoting, you can use retargeting solution. By bringing back users to your website multiple times, you will create loyalty in their mind. And that, as a result, will stimulate their organic traffic. They will remember your soul source and they will get back to it. That's right. Um... I want to answer one last question before we move to the next slide. It's coming from SL and he asks, or she asks, what geos you guys are particularly good at? Um, well, in the beginning of this webinar, Andre said that we have access to 800 million daily impressions. That number sometimes rises to 1 billion and surely by the end of this year, it's going to be above 1 billion because we, we're bringing on quality publishers on a constant basis. Uh, regarding the geos, well, SL, look, we focus on tier one, tier two, and even tier three. In the beginning of the webinar, I told you that we are the kings and queens of pop under traffic. Um, so everywhere. And it's all about testing the right vertical, the right product. Believe me, we got traffic for you. Whether that's US or Tanzania or Singapore or Australia or Hong Kong or some little city in the US, we've got it all. And you can you, you don't have to take my word for it. You can test this in the platform yourself. Yeah, but regarding the, the highest amount of inventory that we are offering, uh, well, the, let's say the top four countries are US, India, Indonesia, Brazil. In terms of volumes. Yeah, we can include that into the PDF summary. As well. Frank, we've wish. got we've got Swaziland as well, man. I gotta tell you, everywhere. You can't name a country on this list as long as it exists that we don't have. That's right. North Korea, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Israel, yes, Disneyland, no, no country. But yes, we target France has Disneyland, US has Disneyland and so forth. Um, okay, let's move over to the next slide. It's not the last one, but it's the one you've all been waiting for. Woo. <laughs> we so, are here, finally. Finally, there you guys are. Um, so you will be getting your unique promo code via email where we will list all the terms and conditions, but here's what you're gonna get. For every deposit of 500 and up, yeah. you guys are gonna get an extra 125 bucks that you can use to run advertisements starting from today. Now, here's the only problem you face with this. We don't know when it's gonna run out. So if you, will, if you are thinking of taking the advantage of this, you better deposit ASAP so you can grab it ASAP, and so you can use it as soon as possible. Right, so check your email right after this webinar. Yes, so it's 125 bucks for every deposit, 500 and above. Now the winner of the best question competition 
will be contacted directly on Facebook, but I believe we're supposed to name him right now. Yeah, right. I think uh, Fabinho is a, Fabinho definitely. Yeah, is a clear winner of this contest as uh, the, the question that he asked uh, got us back to it for the second time even. So. Yes, yes, yes. So Fabinho, congrats man, 100 uh, bucks for you for the best question. Um, you will be contacted on Facebook if you're not here right now. Uh, if you don't have a propeller account, make sure you open it ASAP and grab your 100 bucks and make a deposit of 500 and get another 125. So you will have 225 to use for traffic. Right. Uh, people are asking about the 100 deposit, um, if they're going to get a promo, uh, something for that. If they deposit 100, I think it's... Uh... We're not sure, but you're going to get an answer to these questions after this webinar. Yeah. Every question that's relevant will be answered, so don't worry about that. Um, so right. guys, let's go to the final slide. And uh, first of all, we would like to thank you for being so active in the chat, for helping us with uh, your questions and suggestions. We are really interested in creating something relevant to you that matters, that will help to develop your to develop your skills and become more advanced marketers, especially with propeller ads. Now we will announce when we're going to make the second webinar, uh, the part two of how to convert pop under traffic like a pro. Now remember, we will be going into much more detail and more specifics. We will be breaking down in those webinars um, the verticals that you should target with specific paths. So basically the whole key to success, if you guys remember the keys to success with the five points, we will be breaking each one of them down into more, um, with more focus and guide you on the path to succeeding with, uh, with pop under traffic. Now, if there's nothing else. Yeah, I think that's it for today. We've covered everything that we wanted. That's true. We're glad that you guys found the time to attend this webinar and we trust that it will help you in one way or another to succeed in online marketing. And if it does, me and Andre have succeeded. Thanks for your time and uh, let's keep in touch, guys. Yes. All the best. See you. See you. Bye now.